Hey everyone, uh, how's it going? Okay, hold your fire. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, ow, hold your fire. Ow, ow. Okay, okay, we get it. Hold your fire. Ow, just ow, ow. Okay, ow. Uh, what are you doing, guy? So I just got shot like a million times, and nothing happened. So your idea is to stab me? Let go of me. I thought you were someone else. Yeah, I guess I can see that. I'm pretty hard to recognize, right? <clears throat> Big dummy. I got tapped for this job just a minute ago. They said it was urgent, so I came over on my lunch break. But you guys are gonna have to excuse me while I do a little multitasking. <sighs> Who the hell shot my sandwich? Which one of you did it? Speak up. No one. No one shot it. You're saying my sandwich committed suicide. My sandwich blew itself up instead of passing on its delicious goodness to me. Hank, this is Zai Tzu. Over here. Our guy, Sha Shu Fu, on accident. He try to get safety on his new gun and go off. That was a fast cat particle flinger, right? He buy that hardware from Delova? He's nodding, yeah. I can tell. Delova doesn't build weapons with safeties. I don't think he even knows what the word safe means. Tell your guy he owes me Three sandwiches. That's fair, Hank. You... You want that now? Sure. I'm hungry now. You think I'm in a bad mood? Wait till my stomach starts crumbling. There's a new restaurant on the northwest of the space station. They don't have a sign yet. It's two blocks south of the telescopes, across from Chai Fail's hand grenade and hairdresser shop. I get a 30% discount. Tell them you shot my sandwich and you need a replacement. They might cut you a deal. Guy wants to know if you like drinks and sides. Uh, yeah. Okay, he going. Right, so where was I? I'm not here representing one side or the other. I'm in the middle. I'm here to give you friendly advice. And look stylish, of course. I was just gonna ask you, did Chai Fail do your hair? Dang Goss is on intercoms. Yeah, Chai Fail did this. Um, not sure what I think of it. Color, trim, highlights. Um, he added some biologics to fluff out the thin areas. I, I figure I don't spend a lot of time staring at the top of my own skull. Um, other people see my hair much more than I do, so what I think doesn't really matter. I think it looks pretty good. Uh, thanks? How much cost? What could you possibly need with a hairdresser? It costs two fifty, not including tip. It's also got a pretty good selection of hand grenades. Getting back to why I'm here. 
all of you look absolutely ridiculous. Like you should be in the damn military. Take a look at yourselves. You nut butts are shooting up everything in sight. On top of that, I had to step over three glowing puddles just to get in here. I'm no engineer, but I'm pretty sure there shouldn't be radioactive slime on the floors of our city. But no one can fix anything. Hell, you almost shot off Flat Top Zine's face when he was trying to take out the trash. Have I ever told you guys my marble theory of society? No. This is the only time I ever get to pretend to be philosophical when jerks are reloading their guns. My theory is this. Our space station is like a giant bag of marbles. We got red marbles, green, blue, silver, alien, weird sparkle ones, and whatever else. Some are big, some are small, but all are marbles. We're rolling around, jumbled up as the bag gets kicked and thrown and stepped on by life. But now and then, we don't get a marble in the bag. We get like a square, or a cube. One cube in that bag of spheres. And it messes everything up. Because of the cube, the bag can't roll around any longer and everything stops. So what happens is, the corners of that cube get battered and pressured until it becomes a marble, just like everyone else. Either that, or it gets pulverized to dust, which is like a, a billion little marbles. Then the marbles go back to rolling. By your confused expressions, I see you might not get the analogy. Ooh, in one sexy expression from Shiza. No? Nothing? You guys are the cube in the bag. I shouldn't have to explain this, but our space station makes its money. That is, the people who live here make their money off of robbing the intergalactic transports that come to refuel and repair. And no one can rob anything when there's a gang war just outside the docks. It was funny for the first two months. I know folks need to blow things up now and then, but it's gotten old and everyone is pissed off. 4,000 ships have come and gone with their cargo and we didn't get none of it. We just had a long hauler come through carrying sanctified Imperial Gauche whiskey. It's fermented for a hundred years in the shells of dinosaurs. And those dinosaurs are not too happy when they find it. I bought a, a shot glass of this stuff about five years ago, and it set me back ten grand. And that hauler had a million casks of it. That would have been enough to keep this entire city drunk for generations. In my opinion, the stuff kind of tastes like dead lizards, but that's not the point. We would have made a fortune if we sold it, but we just let it go because you punks are busy painting the walls with shock lasers. Sixteen people have already been sent to hospital, and that's not including the knife maniac who just now tried to shank me. Hey, hey, you okay over there? Eh, we'll be fine. It's by the miracle of Fat Elon's rusty sphincter that no one has been killed. Probably your bad aim. If y'all were carrying sandwiches instead of guns, you'd all be dead. It, it's like that old Colmarian Confederation saying, Ixnard Flork, Ixnord Flork.
Snor. Snor. He's in Snorch. Whatever. It roughly translates into don't take other people's money. It's good advice, right? Obviously, we're all criminals. So when I say ix map flap slap, I don't mean literally, like all the time. But we're on a space station. Why rob from someone 10 blocks away who can just come over and kill you when you can rob from someone 10 light years away and there's nothing you can do about it? What is so important that you had to shut down all business in this city for months. You can't shoot me, or knife me, or explode me, or bribe me, because I've already been bribed. So let's hear it. And to be clear on this, if I walk out of here with nothing, if you keep on fighting, they're just gonna hire some other, scarier people to come visit you. Realistically, it will be me again, but this time I'll have some violent co-workers with heavy weapons along with me. But I don't want to do that, and you don't want to do that, and they don't want to do that. Well, they probably do, but help me help you. What's going on here? Who's first? I just want what's coming to me. Okay, all right, a little, a little vague, but it's a start. If, if you didn't hear him, Boss Nico said he wants what's coming to him. He got everything in our contract. Good, contracts, I like contracts. They keep us civilized criminals. He's lying. I didn't get half the kick from the hydrogen skim, nor a third the rotary tool gambit, and not even a tenth the security staff gig. That's a lot of fractions, and I flunked math. And all the all the maths. You got a bottom line. The contract is final. He don't read the fine print. Fine print? See, Hank, this is what I'm dealing with. Did you say fine print? Do you think we're lawyers? We're crooks. There's no fine print. You make a deal, you do the deal. Probably half the idiots here can't read, and you want to pull some legal nonsense? Be realistic. So what I'm hearing... You guys smell that? What is that? Good evening, Hank. This is Dax. Unfortunately, our current timeline must end. However, your presence may still be of use elsewhere. <laughs>